All right. Next up, we have Kenny G, Kenny Galladay, going as wide receiver 21, pick 52, middle around five. Tell me why you're avoiding Kenny G this season. Have you seen that clip that's circle, circling, circling? Is that a word? <laughs> uh, the internet? <laughs> uh, like it was like a inner uh, giant scrimmage or whatever. And Daniel Jones is like sitting there waiting to throw. And he just like throws it 15 yards into the ground. And nobody's within like five yards yeah. of it. Daniel Jones is bad, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Been so bad. So do you really want to take. For a while Someone now. that's being drafted as a wide wide receiver two. I mean, with, Dan, with Daniel Jones throwing him the ball, pr- pro- probably not. Probably not. I mean, I love like careless whisper, Kenny G. Give me some saxophone all day. I know that's not the artist. Before you destroy me in the YouTube comments, I got it. But I, I like he was great two years ago. Daniel Jones is not Matthew Stafford. And the Giants threw the ball the seventh least amount of times last year. And that was with no Saquon. Saquon's back. They're going to feed him. They're going to check the ball down to him a ton. I believe Saquon had like, what, 11, 12 targets in the first game before he got hurt against the Steelers because they couldn't run the ball. But it's one of those things where I, I'm not trusting a Giants wide receiver. Evan Ingram's hurt now. I don't really like Sterling Shepard. They have Darius Slayton. They signed Kyle Rudolph. I I don't really want anything to do with this offense unless you're telling me I can have Saquon. Yikes. Well, they've lost every preseason game so far, if that gives you any clue as to how bad it's going to be for them this year. It's just... I don't... Middle of round five, Kenny Galladay. He was a top five wide receiver two years ago. You know, he was hurt last year. He's a good player, but it's just a quarterback that limits him. It's just, how do you even determine Daniel Jones's ceiling or the offense's ceiling with what has to be probably the worst offensive line in the league? It's not good. Daniel Jones could be a fantastic quarterback or like an average one. Let's just say he's average. Yeah, he's got he's got good wheels. He can run a little bit until he falls down and trips over a yard marker. Average quarterbacks still excel if given the time to make throws. I just don't think he's going to have any damn time. Yeah. I mean... That Joe Judge has said that we're far from a finished product. We know that already. Well, you're not. I think you're like a half built project product. Um, it's just been it's been really bad. Um, Andrew Thomas, they picked fourth overall in the 2020 NFL draft. He surrendered more pressures, 57, than all but one other tackle last year. Like, oh. Yeah. Unofficially, he allowed one and a half sacks, two pressures, and committed a holding penalty in a half of action in their last preseason game. Like, he didn't get better. It's just so bad. So, yeah, I just, there's, there, yeah there, there are some definite players that I will be taking before Kenny Galladay where he's going. That's also why I don't round. want Saquon. I haven't drafted Saquon once. Yeah, even like a mock just to see what it looks like. You're no, just like, because no, I hate it and I know I'm not going to do it in real life. Like I, he's going, he went third <laughs> in the last mock I did. Like, no. Oh, I'm not going to take Saquon. And that's, that might be a spicier take than the Jonathan Taylor take was earlier. But like coming off of an ACL injury with no offensive line. Sure, he's going to have a million touches, but for like, what, 62 yards and no scores? Like, I mean, he was electric his rookie year. I mean, there's no was. doubt about it where, where he's going to break. I right, just, he stays healthy. He's going to break a run here or there, but if their line's that bad. Yeah, I don't know. Stack, stack the box, McDaniel Jones beat you, and there, he has not proven that he can do it yet. 
there's a lot of guys that have similar workloads and I would yeah. just rather have them with an offensive line or even if it's not the similar workload and it is slightly less, but they're on a team that's going to score like three times as many points per week. Then I would rather have that player. So, yeah, I agree. There, there's some, uh, some guys that are going after Kenny Galladay that I would much rather have than Kenny Galladay. Uh, those players would include Dak Prescott, who, as we've covered previously, uh, was on pace to throw for like, I don't know, 700 times or something last year. And he's clear uh, for week one. Yeah, he's ready to go, man. They're they're going to be firing on all cylinders, I think. Uh, Cooper Cup is going after Kenny Galladay, and I would much rather have Cooper Cup uh, with Stafford throwing him the ball than Kenny Galladay and Daniel Jones. Deontay Johnson uh, has a worse ADP than, than Kenny G. I like um, him more than everybody you've mentioned so far. Deontay yeah. Johnson. Yep. He, he's he could got finish as a wide receiver one and he's going in the he, middle of the fifth. He has enough targets where hopefully he was on the jugs machine uh, in the off season and can avoid some of those drops that he had. And, and I would rather have Mike Davis than Kenny Galladay. Uh, check out our, our Mike Davis video on YouTube. Uh, and we, we've talked about him a little bit. Again, he has no competition uh, in the backfield for Atlanta. They cut and, JV and Hawkins. Yeah, so sorry, truthers on that one. He got him. Um, so yeah, I mean, Mike Davis is the guy. So I, I would much rather have all four of those guys before I'd even just let my brain think about taking Kenny Galladay. 